proceeds. But first here tonight at 10, the Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District held a special board meeting tonight. They're giving the public more information on why they're currently facing court action. Two News reporter Leah Williamson was at tonight's meeting. She's live with what we've learned. Brooke, Mark, these are the three lawsuits that include the Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District. Tonight, their legal counsel explained to the public the background behind these, kind of went back and forth about uh, some of the details inside, and then she also explained why this isn't really an option for the school district to opt out of. Stafford v. Citizens for Bellbrook, Stafford v. Carpenter, and a lawsuit to obtain the school records of the Oregon District mass shooter. Thursday night, District Legal Counsel Tabitha Justice explained the three lawsuits involving the district. John Stafford, the founder of the Vote No movement, is involved in two of these three lawsuits. This school board has broken the uh, Ohio election laws. Uh, they've spent illegally public funds. Um, they have done everything they're not supposed to do. Stafford and other attendees were upset no public comments were allowed at tonight's meeting. Well, this is the first school board meeting in the last uh, year where there's been no public comment. And uh, there was no way that I could bring attorneys or I could stand up and talk. And she could throw out these allegations and there's no response back for it. Bellbrook parent Josh Presnell attended the meeting and says he believes the school board should continue to fight the litigation. I hope to hear that they're not planning on settling. Uh, there's been some calls for that within the community, and I think it's important to um, stay in the right and fight for being right and not to uh, give up uh, when you know that you're uh, on the right side of the, the argument. According to Justice, the district has no choice but to continue. When the board or one of its employees gets sued, the board is obligated to and, and required by law to defend itself and its employees. More information on these lawsuits will be available on WDTN.com. Stafford says that his lawsuits are still ongoing in Greene County, and Justice says she expects to have to give an update on them sometime in the near future. Also, the levy will be on the ballot in March. In Bellbrook, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you. Right.